Today we're taking a look at a new version of a super popular knife coming from ProTech and its little brother. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. We're getting back into some more knife reviews now. Starting with this one right here, which has been in my pocket for quite a while. You may have seen it in my previous EDC update video. You can check that out right up there in the corner. This is the ProTech SBR, and when I first got my hands on this thing, it just felt like the perfect knife to me. It's great for EDC, and it's been in my rotation for quite a while now. Fast forward a little bit, as I started using this knife more and more, I often wanted just a little bit more knife than this short little 2.6 inch blade. Now the name ProTech SBR is short for short bladed rock eye. So here we also have a new version of ProTech rock eye, and this is another addition to their operator series. I did a video on one of ProTech's operator SNGs previously in the past, and basically their operator series is a completely sterile knife. No markings on it at all. All black everything, which you guys of course know that I like. And then when we bring it in close here, you'll notice that the push button has a little vial of tritium in there, making that thing glow in the dark, of course. So now we're gonna put both of these knives on the chopping block today. I've definitely had more pocket time with this because I've had it for the past couple of months and the new Rock Eye has been riding in my pocket for the past two weeks now. Since I do have more pocket time with the SBR, let's just jump into this one first. So the ProTech SBR is short for short bladed Rock Eye, like I mentioned. It's a Les George automatic design with that awesome ProTech action. And this is what they consider the little brother to the popular Rock Eye series. The SBR has an overall length of six and a half inches, a blade length of 2.625 inches, and that blade is made out of a CPM S35 VN steel. It's a drop point hollow ground blade, which is great for slicing, and mine of course is coated in black because all black everything is definitely my style. The black aluminum handles are about 3.75 inches long, so it just fills up my palm, and it's about an inch wide, so this is a short little stocky knife. It has a very nice deep carry pocket clip in the tip up position, and of course this thing is automatic with just a standard blacked out push button. Now moving over to the bigger brother, the Rock Eye Operator. Like I mentioned, this one is featuring a totally blacked out and sterile design with no markings on the blade or handles whatsoever. The handles are black anodized lightweight aluminum and the blade is also black DLC coated. The only color you will find on this knife is that tiny little green tritium inlaid push button. Even all the hardware on this knife is black DLC coated. The Rock Eye is a production collaboration between Les George and ProTech, bringing one of his more original custom designs to the masses. It has an overall length of 8.375 inches, a blade length of 3.375 inches, and the blade is also a drop point, but this one happens to be flat ground, which I actually prefer on my knives. It has a handle length of 5 inches, definitely giving you more to hang on to when compared to the SBR, and the same handle thickness of about half an inch. Now I think the only other thing to note about these knives is that the SBR is coming in at about 3.05 ounces and the Rock Eye on the other hand is coming in at 4.64 ounces so both very pocketable. I don't really have a problem with carrying heavier knives. I will say though that the Rock Eye definitely takes up a lot more pocket space than the SBR. So first my thoughts on the SBR that I've been carrying for the past couple of months. Can you really go wrong with a design like this? It's pretty classic, nice and clean and sterile. Not as sterile as the operator, of course. You have the typical ProTech USA blade markings on there. You can see the S35VN as well. And then on this side, Les George has his logo on there, which is cool because he is a creator, although I would much prefer a more sterile blade. The spine of the blade, of course, has some nice jimping up there, and that gives you just enough real estate to really fill up your hand. When I'm holding this thing as I would be using it pretty hard, like when I was cutting up some turf for my van, my pinky has just enough room to fall on that handle there and then my thumb sort of 
scoots back a little bit. I can choke up almost all the way to the point of this blade, so that probably gives you a better idea of the size of this thing. Now this is completely my opinion, but this is like so close to being the perfect size for an EDC knife. For me, the blade is definitely a little bit on the smaller end. I wanted just a little bit more out of this, which is why I, of course, went and got the rock eye. But for everyday tasks, this thing has been phenomenal. Because the blade is short and stout, this thing fires super quick, as you would imagine. It's hard hitting, you really have to hold on to it, just like most Protec knives. And then since it's using a similar spring on the rock eye, the rock eye is gonna be a little bit slower because it has more of a blade to flick out there. And let me tell you, I will never get over flicking out a Protec knife. The one thing that I like about the SBR as well is the pocket clip. The clip is nice and deep, concealing almost the entire knife, and it is black, so when I drop this thing in my pocket, it almost completely disappears. The other thing I like about this pocket clip is how Protec actually molds it into the handle there. They basically recess a little pocket. That way, the pocket clip sits flush against the aluminum handle scales. Because that is so flush inside there, it makes putting this thing in your pocket and taking it out of your pocket a breeze. This thing doesn't really chew up my pockets, which is nice because all of my jeans get ruined nowadays with all of the different knives that I've been carrying. They do leave you a little lanyard hole on the end of the knife here, so if you're into carrying lanyards, you could definitely put one on there, but I like my knives nice and clean without lanyards. And I'm excited for the day where hopefully I would be able to get my hands on an operator version of the SBR. I don't know, I think that would be really neat. Now after using the SBR for a while, there were a few occasions where I wanted just a little bit more blade and that's where the rock eye comes into the picture. This is of course the operator version. Now you'll find some subtle differences on this other than just the size here with the SBR for comparison. The handle sizes are very similar of course, instead of having these recessed little pockets on the back of the SBR, this one is just nice and clean all the way down to the end. Of course, you do not have the lanyard hole on the end like you do on the SBR. This one happens to be right through the handle of the knife. The blade profiles, of course, are super similar. If you took about an inch out of the rock eye, that is when you're left with the SBR. So the jimping is almost identical. And then when I get the rock eye in my hand like this, get about maybe half an inch sticking out of the back there. You could use that as a pommel if you wanted to. Get a little bit more protection from the blade up here in the front with my front finger. And then of course you get about an inch of extra blade on there. Now the pocket clip on the rock eye is also a little bit different. I believe I prefer the pocket clip on here because of how it's recessed and it's a deep carry clip. This one, however, is also pretty nice. You can see I've already scuffed this one up just a little bit because it's been in my pocket. This one is also not reversible, tip up carry. It's pretty deep, but not really considered a deep carry clip. So when I throw this thing into my pocket, you get about maybe half an inch of knife sticking out of your pocket. And again, this thing is all black, so it really goes unnoticed. Now as far as practical uses go, the SBR is definitely more of an EDC knife in my opinion. Could be fit into a tactical role I guess, however it's pretty small. And then that's almost the opposite for the rock eye. Definitely could be used as an EDC knife and I have been using it as an EDC knife, however this would fit into more of a tactical role simply for the size. A little bit longer of a blade, a little bit bigger handle. So if you are the type of person who carries a knife for self-defense, then obviously this would be a much better option for you. Now because I'm really only into knives for the practicality of everyday carry, opening boxes and breaking things down and stuff like that, I'm still kind of on the fence between which one I like more. When I have the SBR in my pocket, a lot of times I'm like, man, I wish it was just a little bit bigger. And then now that I have the rock eye in my pocket, I'm like, man, this knife is sweet, but it could be just a little bit smaller too. This is really nitpicking, but I think a knife right in between these two would be the sweet spot. I'm thinking an SBR with like a quarter inch longer blade and a quarter inch longer handle or rock eye with a quarter inch shorter blade and a quarter inch shorter handle. I think that would be like my ideal sweet spot, but you could also carry two knives if you wanted to. Now that I've had some time with both of these, I think the rock eye will find itself in my pocket a little bit more than the SBR, mainly just because it's newer and I like the sterile blade, no markings on it. The tritium is a super cool touch as well. But after a while, the couple extra ounces and like an extra inch of handle length on here, this is going to take up a lot more real estate in my pocket than the SBR, so maybe I would eventually end up going back to the SBR. What's great about collecting knives is that you can switch them out every single day, which I tend to do, but I've definitely found the rock eye in my pocket a lot more as of lately. 
Now for some more knife technicalities that a lot of people like to talk about, I basically just breeze over this stuff when it comes to Protec knives because it's always a rock solid lockup. There is no movement at all, no little clicks or anything. The action of course is super fast, super hard. Of course the SBR is going to be a little bit harder with that smaller blade, but you just can't beat that action. The centering of blades is another thing that a lot of people like to talk about. As you can see, this thing is dead centered. I've actually never had a single issue with any centering on any of my Protex. And that's with taking them apart and putting them back together as well. And since we're talking about the Operator Series, let's actually go back to the workbench and show a few different knife comparisons. All right guys, here we go. SBR versus the Rock Eye. There you can see a little bit better size difference. Something right in between here would be super cool, just saying. Now for more of the Operator Series, here I have the Strider SNG coming from Protec. Pretty similar in size. For some reason, the Strider feels a little bit bigger. I believe it's just like the shape of the handle. And then we also have the Godfather. This was actually the first one that Protec ever made. We made that while I was there with them in Southern California. This one barely even fits on the screen. So this is like a modernized version of a stiletto. Haven't actually done a dedicated video on that, but that is another operator version. You'll notice that the Strider has an older version of their tritium inserts. I should probably actually send this one back to ProTech and get that updated, but that's what they used to look like when they first started doing the operator series. Now let's see what else I have that compares to the size of the SBR. This guy right here did a video on this in the past. This is a Medford Mini Praetorian. Pretty damn similar in size, although this one is obviously a lot chunkier. And then another crowd favorite, pretty comparable in size, the Wee Knives Banter. Coming from my friend Ben. He's the one who actually designed this knife. So that's a pretty good spread there to get an idea of the size. Again, these are on sort of both ends of the spectrum for me. These I would consider pretty small knives, and then these I would consider pretty large knives. Personally, my sweet spot is about right in the middle around here. If these shrank a little bit or if these grew just a little bit. But either way, all great knives depending on what type of application you want to put them in. So there you guys have my thoughts on both the ProTech SBR and the ProTech Rockeye. I'm curious, which one would you guys choose? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll also leave different links for specifications and where you can pick these things up in the description down below. I'm not exactly sure when the Rockeyes are going to be going live. I believe it's just at the end of March. So if these are live right now, I will definitely leave a link where you can pick these up down below. Because it's an operator version though, chances are they're going to sell out immediately like the rest of them do. So if you got your hands on one, congrats, because these knives are awesome. If you have any questions on any ProTech knives, let me know in the comments down below. I also did a tour of their facility when I was out in California, so you can watch that video right up here. If you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.